Now let us discuss the different modes of vibration of a wave in a closed pipe. A closed pipe, for every closed pipe, one end is closed. It doesn't mean that, mean that both ends of the pipe is closed. One end of the pipe is closed. Here it is closed. And the other end is open to atmosphere. Clear. So this is a closed pipe. Now we know for the molecules that there is restriction of molecules at the closed end because it can't vibrate horizontally. So always a node is formed at the closed end. And since the molecules can vibrate at the open end horizontally also, there is no restriction for vibration at the open end, which means there is no chance that a node is formed at the open end. So anti-nodes are always formed at the open end. Clear. And always remember for nth mode and mode, the number of nodes between the uh, closed end or open end or between the ends of the pipe is equal to number of nodes formed will be n minus 1. Always remember this formula. We will discuss this. So let's, but let's keep this in the mind, in your mind. Okay. So let's discuss about the first mode of vibration. First mode of vibration. Since for the first mode of vibration n equal to 1, we have number of nodes formed will be the formula is n minus 1. So here it is 1 minus 1, so 0. So no nodes will be formed between the uh, ends of the pipe. So we don't have to write it in here, or just always keep that in your mind. So no nodes will be formed. So it will be like this. The vibration will be like this. Clear. And you know this is the length of the pipe. Length of the pipe L. And we already discussed the distance between a node and an anti node will be always lambda by 4. So for the first mode, let's write lambda 1 by 4. Comparing this, you will get L is equal to lambda 1 by 4 implies lambda 1 equal to 4 taking this 4 to the left now the, we have the frequency f1 equal to velocity divided by wavelength lambda 1 which is equal to v divided by 4 so f1 equal to v by 4 this is called the this is the minimum frequency or the lowest frequency available and it is called the fundamental frequency fundamental frequency. I will write it in here because we need that f1 equal to v divided by 4. This is the fundamental frequency or we can say that it is a first harmonic. First harmonic. And we know f1 is equal to, this can be written as 1 by 4 l into v which is equal to 1 by 4 l into v for any uh, sound wave, the longitudinal wave, the expression for velocity is equal to gamma p divided by 2. We derived this formula in the Laplace correction. If you have any doubt, just look at the description below. I put the link in there. So the fundamental frequency f1 is equal to 1 by 4 l root of gamma p divided by 2. Clear. Now let's discuss about the second mode of vibration. Let's discuss about second mode of vibration. Second mode of vibration. And we know for the second mode of vibration, the number of nodes be formed between the ends will be n minus 1, here n equal to 2, so 2 minus 1, so the number of nodes formed will be 1. So this is the closed pipe. Here it is node, here it is anti node, and between n node and anti node, a node is there. So it will be something like this. 
the formation of wave is like this. So a node in here, here it is anti node. This is anti node. Clear. This is lambda 2 by 4. So the, since the distance between node and anti node is lambda 2 divided by 4, here also lambda 2 divided by 4. Here also lambda 2 divided by 4. And this is the total length of the pipe L. And if you compare these two, you will get there are 3 lambda 2 by 4. So 3 lambda 2 divided by 4 gives the length of the pipe. Or lambda 2 is equal to 4 L divided by 3. Clear. Now we have the sec frequency of the second mode V divided by lambda 2 which is equal to V divided by 4L divided by 3 which gives F2 equal to you can take this 3 to the numerator 3 into V by 4L. Clear. This is the frequency of the second mode of vibration or you can write F2 is equal to 3 times, but you know this one is equal to F1, 3F1. The second frequency, also we, we can say this as uh, the first overtone. First overtone or second harmonic. Clear. And also F2 equal to you can write this as 3 into F1 is equal to 1 by 4L root of gamma P divided by rho. These are the different forms of F2. Clear? So let's write here F2 is equal to 3F1. Now, now what about the third mode of vibration? So, for the third mode of vibration, third mode of vibration, we have n equal to 3 here. So, the number of nodes formed will be n minus 1 is the formula. So, 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2. So, two nodes are formed at the between the ends of the pipe. Here it is anti node, here it is node. So I have to draw two nodes. So it will be like this. Okay. Here it is anti node. Here it is node. Here also it is anti node. Here it is node. We know the distance between a node and an anti node is lambda by 4. So here it is lambda 3 divided by 4. Now this distance between this anti node and node lambda 3 by 4. Continuing again lambda 3 divided by 4. Lambda 3 divided by 4. Lambda 3 divided by 4. So this whole length is the length of the pipe. Comparing these two, you will get L is equal to or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times lambda 3 divided by 4 gives the total length. Implies lambda 3 is equal to 4L divided by 5. Now we have the frequency F3 is equal to velocity divided by lambda 3 which is equal to V divided by lambda 3 equal to 4L divided by 5. F3 is equal to 5 into V divided by 4L. Taking this 5 to the numerator. And we know this is the F3 is the F3 is the second overtone second overtone or the third harmonic. Also, F3 is equal to, but you know, V by 4L equal to F1. So, 5 times F1. 
or you can write f3 is equal to 5 times f1 is this one 1 by 4l root of gamma p divided by root clear now if you compare the different frequencies or the frequencies of the different modes that is the fun f1 is to f2 is to f3 etc it is equal to we know f1 let's write it as f1 2 f1 we, we know f2 is equal to 3 f1 f3 is equal to we found that as 5 f1 etc so this you can cancel this or f the ratio will be 1 is to 3 is to 5 if there is a fourth mode it will be 7 etc so in this situation it is only odd values so the frequencies are the odd number multiples of fundamental frequency clear